The crusade urged Prime Minister Theresa May to cut Britain's foreign aid budget so more money can be spent in the UK on the NHS and to pay for social care for the elderly. Jacob Rees-Mogg was seen banging on the door of number 10 while Mrs May held her crucial Brexit cabinet meeting, where the Prime Minister is laying out her plans for exiting the European Union amid pressure from hard Brexiteers. After stunning reporters with his appearance, the Conservative MP said it was a petition of Daily Express. Readers who want to ensure the foreign aid budget is properly spent and are not in favour. As I'm not in favour of the 0.7% target, Sky News Jacob Rees-Mogg delivers foreign aid petition to Number 10 I'm not in favour of the 0.7% target, Jacob Rees-Mogg more than £13 billion of Taxpayers' money was spent last year while the government struggles to fund health and social care funding at home. Data from the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development shows 28 leading industrialised nations handed out £86 billion between them in 2015, more than £12 billion, more than 14% came from the UK, which gave twice as much as France. Daily Express reader Robert Barnes, 52, from Oldham, who set up a petition demanding the cash is diverted to public services in Britain, said the excellent campaign by the Daily Express has highlighted the folly of the arbitrary target for foreign aid spending. The people have spoken and would like to see the aid target abolished and our money spent at home. International Development Secretary Penny Morden said, I'll Never forget whose money I'm spending. We have a moral obligation to spend it in the smartest way. In 2016 Britain gave £1.5 billion to middle-income countries. Pakistan received £463 million, despite its space and nuclear weapons programs. Britain also gave £100 million to India and £46 million to China, which wants to become the world's biggest economy. The ardent Brexiteer also told Sky that Britain pushed to regain its place in global trade is great news for Japan. Japanese business tycoons were meeting Theresa May in number 10 when the petition was delivered. Mr. Rees-Mogg said, we should be out of the customs union and we should be a proper free trading nation.